So guys, for the first time in Ross's lawn service history, all three mowers are out of service. The John Deere still runs, but it has a big problem. I was mowing the lawn on Saturday. Um, I usually use this mower on the lawn I was mowing Saturday. Anyways, they have a fence. And it kind of curves along. Anyways, I wasn't watching where I was going, or I don't know what happens. Um, it just happened so fast. Basically, I hit a piece of the fence that was sticking out. So, now, I don't know if you can see it, the bar is bent more than it should be, and the deck is simply at an angle, so I'm cutting lower than I should be. And frankly, I should not have finished mowing the lawn I was doing because now it looks like I scalped it. Um, but, because the UPS man. Anyways, um, lo and behold, um, the deck's crooked. So, even though I have it set uh, fairly high, I have it set one notch before the highest setting on all mowers. It's cutting, like I have it said, in between the middle and, like, it's set between either here, oops, right here, the middle, or right there, in between. Um, and that's the front wheels. The back wheels are fine, but I was noticing when I was m finishing the lawn that the adjustment handle was rattling and it fell to the middle setting. So, I don't want to mow any more lawns with it until I can take it up to Reynolds. Because I don't want to scalp anyone's lawn. Because now we're to the point of the summer where it doesn't rain as much. Um, and I like to keep the lawns green. Luckily for the lawn I was doing, they have an irrigation system and they water daily. Um, so, and let's take you to the Craftsman. Well... I do not have the um, safety bar down, and I can just pull it freely. I was using it the other day to mow around the mulch pile and do a little bit where I was going to be mulching. When I started it, the starter rope sat and the engine sounded really weird, and it kind of acted like it was getting ready to break. Well... I was going out to mow another lawn, wanted to use this mower, and I started it, wouldn't start, pulled it again, it just snapped. So basically it won't catch. Luckily my neighbor next door, he had the same problem I think he can fix it. I also want to see if you can take a look at the blade because it doesn't cut tall grass down as well as it should. And squirt. Squirt tonight. I'm going to sit down and I'm gonna um, have my dad and I order the parts that you need to run because I don't have any mowers right now. Um, luckily, though, my I was watering. Hey, I the people to not this house but way down there. I snowblowed their driveway this winter and kind of in thanks, um, they did pay me for that, but in kind of, um, as a thank you, they let me use their mower. And if you saw the flashback videos, it's that zero turn, um, club cadet push mower. The reason I'm watering the lawn is we are in a little bit of a dry spill, not bad, but this little area was yellow or kind of brown and crispy. Didn't look very healthy and um, I like the front yard to look nice so anyways um, but they let me use their mower in return I mowed their lawn for them uh, the husband has a, a lot of allergies so he doesn't get out and do it very much but he does and I don't mind using that one I'm going to I hate having to borrow other people's lawnmowers when I can just use my own. But you know, these things happen. And luckily the damage to the John Deere wasn't as worse as I um, thought.
spot. I mean, the deck's bent, but it's fixable. Uh, the Craftsman's fixable. And Squirt, we just need to get the parts. Um, luckily, I don't have that many. I don't have any lawns to do today. Or, or on Tuesday. I'm leaving for Florida Saturday, so I'm probably going to do my lawns Thursday or Friday. So, I wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on. The Echo needs to be restrung. I'm going to do that today. Um, and otherwise, everything else is going fine. You know, I just really wasn't expecting all this to happen. But it did happen. And you gotta... Uh, I don't know, be prepared. Squirt, um, the good news is Squirt is ready to go. He just needs a new gas line and a starter cape, or safety cable. He's set. He's, he's, he's good to go. Um, he doesn't bag or mulch. I need to put the discharge block back, or no, the mulching block for the side discharge back on. And he'll be set to go. I will say one thing. Was I let my backyard go a little bit. Then again, my neighbor's mower clumps. Um, but it doesn't clump like mine. Mine just usually leaves it on the side. Or just look kind of leaves it in the middle. This one clumps a little more. I don't care if it looks like that. I'm just happy they let me use their mower. But... Luckily, hi baby. I was yes. Say hi to the YouTube people. Yes, say hi. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go back inside. I'll leave you alone. Anyways, um, we were. I was just grateful that they let me use it. So, hopefully now. Uh, we can get the Craftsman. My neighbor's going to look at it later today and see if he can get it going. If he can, I'm just going to use that until we get back and then I'll take the John Deere up. But I am for sure going to sit down and order Squirt's parts. Now, the sprinkler is shut off. And I am going to go water the plants. And then, I don't probably... Do some work around the house. So I just wanted to show you guys what was going on with the mowers. And I don't know what the story is. And I'll let you know as soon as I can. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bye.